Remember, the devil does not want us to give worship to our God. Therefore, he will allow us, can you imagine, he will allow us to worship God in his own territory because he will be controlling us, number three. And as well, it is a tactic to allow us to worship God in vain. My God, my God, my God. Also, the enemy can use this as a way to manipulate us. I pray this morning as we are starting our day, we are not going to find ourselves worshiping God in the devil's vicinity. And as well, it is a place of no freedom. When you are worshiping God in the vicinity of the enemy, there is no freedom. We are not going to worship God freely. And as well, it is a place where we can either also experience unnecessary delays. I'm just a few things I picked up as I meditated on the parak. Uh, two more. A place also you are going to be monitored by the enemy. Can you imagine? The enemy will not allow you to worship your God in his own territory without him monitoring you. The last one. It is a place where we experience slow or lack of progress. We will think we are progressing, but rather we are actually not progressing. Our word uh, from the day same. The, then Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron to come to him. He said to them, go, you can offer sacrifices to your God here in Egypt. But Moses said, it will not be right to do that. The Egyptians do not lack our sacrifices of animals. If we offer these sacrifices to the Lord our God, the Egyptians will be angry with us. They will throw stones at us to kill us. You see what the enemy did. Even our father, if you, this was confirmed from the book of Exodus 25 to 26. In this incident, Pharaoh allowed it, Pharaoh and the Israelites. He said, you know, you can offer your sacrifices here in Egypt. My God, he knew exactly what he's doing. And our father is our revelation. In the narrative of Moses confronting Pharaoh, we witness Pharaoh's hardened heart as he defies God's command to release his people. Despite the plague sent by the Lord, our father says, Pharaohs remain obstinate. Our prophetic insight reveals Pharaoh's cunning desire. Look what was his desire. His desire was he allows Israelites to worship their God, but within the confines of Egypt, where demonic influences reign. This mirrors the devil's tactics. He said, number one, he permits attendance in church while ensnaring individuals in sinful lifestyles. I believe we, can, we are seeing this happening today. It is a perplexing to witness individuals in church amidst repentance, transformation, yet clinging to their wicked ways. People of God, today there are many people who are in churches. There are many people who are among us. But for some reason why, the enemy have allowed them to worship God in, the, in his own vicinity. Say Pharaoh's acceptance of Israel worship within Egypt boundaries illustrate the phenomenon. He understood that worshiping in Egypt would hinder Israel from true freedom to worship God authentically. Are you hearing that this morning? He knew exactly, no, if these people can worship their God in my country, in my own territory, there is no way they are going to worship their God in freedom. Our father again, he said, unable to offer proper sacrifices without provoking Egyptians' ire. Worshiping within the devil's territory. Another, our father is saying, he says, he says compromises wholehearted devotion to God. People of God, there are so many poor right now, what the enemy have caused a compromise because he have allowed many people to worship God in his own territory. There is no way the enemy will allow you to function in his territory 
and allow you just to go freely. Our Father, he said, today expect complete deliverance, empowering you to worship God wholeheartedly and without constraint. Repeat after me, say, I will, I expect complete deliverance. I expect complete deliverance. One more time. I expect complete deliverance. I expect complete deliverance. People of God, we need deliverance in this area. You do not want to find yourself, you are doing things for God, but the enemy have allowed you to do it in his own territory. As we go deeper, go with me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. And the Bible says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. How are you going to love your God with all your heart while you are worshiping God in his own territory? How are you going to love him with all your soul while you are worshiping God in his own, in his own sanctuary? How are you going to worship God while you, with all your strength? How he is monitoring you day and the night. Again, in the book of Isaiah chapter 1, verse 11 to 16, the Bible says, What are your multiplied sacrifices to me? I'm, I'm reading in amplified versions. Without repentance, says the Lord, I have had enough of your burnt offering of rams and the fat of well-fed cattle without your obedience, my God. And I take no pleasure in the blood of bulls or lambs or goats offered without repentance. People of God, it does not matter the sacrifices we are making to God. If it does not come with repentance, it means we are doing it in vain. Number 12, when you come to appear before me, when, who requires this of you? This trembling of my court by your, my court or temple by your sinful feet. 13, do not bring worthless offerings again. Your incense is repulsive to me. New moon and Sabbath, the calling of assemblies, I cannot endure wickedness. My God. The Bible here says, your sin, your injustice, your wrongdoing, and the squatter of the festival assembly. 14. I hate your new moon festivals and your appointed feast. People of God, this it was what was happening in Egypt. While the enemy allowed the people, the Israelites, to worship their God as well. While they were worshiping God, there were many other altars that were raised to counter attack the altars of God they were raising. 15 says, so when you spread out your hands in prayer pleading for my help, I will hide my face from you. Yes, even though you offer many prayers, I will not bring, I will not be listening. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, get your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing evil. People of God, we have to be very, very careful. When I was meditating, I said, my God, this is a tactic, especially the enemy have allowed it to happen in this country, the USA. It is for us to pray and to stand in the gap. Matthew 15, verse 8 to 9. Matthew 15, verse 8 to 9. Two simple verses. These people who honor me with their lips, but their heart is far away from me. I pray you are not going to be among those who are going to worship God, but our lips, but our heart is go are going to be far away from God. Nine, but in vain do they worship me, for they teach as doctrine the, recept, uh, the precept of men. Our prophetic action this morning, this is what we need to do. Our Father is saying, examine your life today. Have you experienced a complete transformation since your rebirth in Christ? If not, honestly beseech God today to eradicate any ungodly threat lingering within you in Jesus' name. People of God, there are sometimes we have to look back again. My God, how has my Christian life has been? How have I been serving God? Is there any ungodly threat in me? If there is any, we can repent. God will forgive us and he will have mercy upon us. I want you to unmute yourself as we pray this prayer this morning. Unmute yourself wherever you are. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself.
And let us pray this prayer together this morning. Repeat after me. Say, Gracious Father. Gracious Father. My heart is devoted to you. My heart is devoted to you. Surrender fully to your will. Surrender fully to your will. Lord. Lord. Root out any remnants. Of sin in my life. May I never compromise my worship. I never dwelling in the vicinity of Pharaoh. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Before we do any other things, I want us to pray this morning. We are going to pray for God to examine us this morning. For us, we say, God, I declare this morning a total transformation. May you have a favor over me. Forgive me. May your blood sanctify me this morning. Somebody, wherever you are, unmute yourself and pray. Humble yourselves in the presence of our God. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Examine yourself this morning. Look deep in your heart this morning. Father God, here we are, here we are this morning. We are gathering again here this morning. We lift our voice. We lift our voice. We lift our voice. We ask upon your grace. I don't know. We are examining ourselves this morning. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon your children this morning. Have mercy mercy upon us. Have mercy upon me. Adonai, I lift my voice this morning. Forgive us, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Forgive us, forgive us, forgive us, O God. Any threat of sin in our lives, any sign of sin within us, O God. We are surrendering all on the altar this morning. We are surrendering our lives on the altar this morning. Any ungodly threat lingering within us this morning. Father God, we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. We are beseeching you this morning. We are beseeching you today in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Somebody cry unto God. Somebody cry unto him. Cry unto him this morning to have his mercy over you. Cry unto him to have his mercy over your children. Cry unto him to have his mercy over your family. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Father, we, pray. we beseech you this morning. We beseech you this morning. We are dedicated any ungodly trust in us, um, any ungodly desire within us in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. We want to experience a complete transformation. We want to experience a complete transformation. Transform us this morning. Transform us this morning. Transform us this morning. Transform us this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus Mighty name, we pray. I can hear people praying this morning. You are going to pray again. You are going to call upon the blood of Jesus, the blood that was poured on Golgotha, that what blood that was shed for our sins on Calvary. You are going to call it to purify us. This we say, God of major one. May the blood of Jesus sanctify me this morning. Any sin, any stain of sin in me, may it be sanctified and purified by the blood of the Lamb. This this morning, somebody wherever you are, unmute yourself um, and call upon the blood of the Lamb. Um, call upon the blood of Jesus this morning. The blood of Jesus has power to clean and to sanctify us. Um, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. If you can pray, pray. If you can pray, pray. If you can speak to your God, speak to Him. Um, Father, we lift our voice this morning. We call upon your blood. We call upon that precious blood that was poured for us on Calvary. We call upon that precious blood. Um, that was a shed for our sins. In this morning, oh God, may your blood sanctify us. May your blood purify us. May your blood cleanse us in the name of Jesus. Any stain of sin in us, any threat of sin in us, oh God, we are lifting our voices this morning. Forgive us and have your mercy over us. Forgive us and have your mercy over us. May your blood purify. May your blood sanctify. May your blood purify. May your blood cleanse us. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We have decided again today to follow only you. We have decided again to come back to you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, have your mercy over us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray as we commend our day this morning. I want you to call upon the Holy Ghost. Remember, people of God, we have been sent a helper. The Holy Spirit is there at our disposal. The Holy Spirit is there to help us whenever we need him. You are going to say, Holy Ghost, take over my day. Less of me and more of you today. May my first step be ordered by you. And may my last step be ordered by you. Somebody, wherever you are, lift your voice. Call upon the helper to help you today. Call upon the strength that to strengthen you to them. Somebody fire prayer. Somebody fire prayer. Yes, lift your voice, somebody. Lift your voice, somebody. Call upon the Holy Ghost. Call upon the Holy Ghost. Call upon the Holy Ghost. Pray for him to lead you. Pray for him to carry you through this day. Somebody command your day. Somebody command your day. Abandon your day in his hands. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lift my voice this morning. Holy Ghost, less of me and more of you this this morning less of us and more of you this morning here we are again thank you for helping us in this day as we go about our day as we go about um, our daily activities um, we surrender all in your mighty hands um, we surrender our jobs in your hands um, we surrender oh god father god we surrender our project today in your hands um, we surrender our activities in your hands um, we surrender the works of our hands in your hands um, take over have your way take over have your way take over have your way, take over, have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we surrender this morning. 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 Have your way, have your way, have your way. That woman who is crying to you right now, that woman ogre who needed to be strengthened, may that woman be strengthened right now. That man who need to be strengthened, Father God, that man who need a direction, that woman who need a direction, may we be directed by you in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost come and have your way. Holy Ghost come and have your way this morning. Have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus mighty name we pray. I feel people are praying. I can, I, 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 I can, I can feel the fire is coming to where you are located this morning again as we are still praying. In Jesus' name, you are going to lift your voice right now. We are going to come against every plan of the enemy. Before I go into deeper prayers, we are going to come against every attack of the enemy today. We are going to pray against every evil agent of the enemy. Whatever the enemy have planned against you, indeed it shall not succeed in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy have planned against your family, against your children, against your business, against your work today, indeed it shall not prosper. You are going to lift your voice wherever you are and you are going to come against every plan of the enemy. You are going to come against every attacks of the enemy. You are going to come against every wickedness spirit of today. Somebody fire prayer come against them. every plan of the enemy. Send fire in the camp of the enemy. Send fire in the vicinity of the enemy this morning. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Come against. Come against every plan of the enemy. Somebody lift a voice. Somebody lift a voice. Somebody lift a voice. Somebody lift a voice. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lift our voice this morning. We come against every plan of the enemy. Whatever the enemy have planned for evil to us, indeed it shall not locate us. Whatever the enemy have planned against us today, we render all his plan useless. Whatever the enemy have planned against your children this morning, we come against all his evil plans in the mighty name of the Father. We lift our voice this morning. We come against every evil agent. We come against sudden accident. We come against a sudden death in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray to them. We hide ourselves under your shadow. We hide our families under your shadow this morning. We hide our children under your shadow this morning. We hide our activities under your shadows this morning. Every monitoring spirit monitoring our daily activity today. We are blinding them in the power of the Holy Ghost. We are blinding 
defending them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we come against. Thank you for your angels. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are still praying this morning. I am feeling fire coming from that bedroom. I am feeling fire coming from that altar. You are going to pray this morning. You are going to pray, Rana. I want us to invite angels. I want us to put angels to work today. You are going to say, God, may this be the day. I am going to express angelic visitation. May this be my day to express an angelic touch. You are going to pray for, uh, for angels to be dispatched in your way. You are going to pray for his angels to locate you to them. Somebody lift your voice. Pray for the angels of God um, to locate you today in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. 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 Call upon the angels of God. Um, call upon the angels of God. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus, we lift our voice this morning. We call upon your angels. We call upon your angels. Um, angels of healing shall be dispersed to them. Angels of deliverance shall be dispersed to them. Oh, Father God, angels um, that delivers, oh God, <laughs> that delivers breakthrough shall be dispersed to them. Angels, angels that delivers, oh God, good news. We are welcoming them in our lives. Um, angels, angels that delivers, oh God, <laughs> whatever was be, what was beholden for us, we are releasing them this morning. Father, we pray, Father, we pray, Father, we pray. I invite your angels this morning. May a woman have an angelic visitor to them. May a man on this prayer line have a divine encounter with an angel to them. We pray for divine connectors this morning. Divine angels to be connected to us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. People of God, it is so dangerous for, uh, for the enemy to allow us to worship our God in his own vicinity. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 7. The Bible says, now the Lord is the spirit. And where there is a spirit of the Lord, there is freedom. My God, people of God, what the enemy will want to do is he is going to quench the Holy Spirit. And therefore, there is now going to be freedom. You are going to say, today I declare freedom in my life. I declare freedom in my family. I declare freedom in my ministry. People of God, whenever you are free, you will do things that have never been done before. Whenever you are walking in the way of freedom, you are going to do things that are going to shock the world. You are going to say, God of major one, this morning I declare freedom in every area of my life. I declare freedom in my ministry, freedom in my family, freedom among my children, freedom in my household. Somebody lift your voice and declare freedom in the name of Jesus. Say, I am free in the name of Jesus. My family members are free. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Declare Declare freedom this morning. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Declare freedom. Somebody. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, we declare freedom this morning. You say wherever your spirit is. Oh, we are praying wherever your spirit is. There is indeed freedom. As we have welcomed you in our family. As we have welcomed you in our lives. May we experience freedom today. May we experience freedom in this month. May we experience freedom in this year. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Thank you for the freedom that we are going to experience in this season. A woman on this prayer line. Any man on this prayer line. Any youth on this prayer line. Any child on this prayer line. Who has been bound by the enemy. We are declaring freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. 
May I feel from today in the name of Jesus, whatever territory the enemy allowed them to walk into, they are coming out in the name of Jesus. We are coming out, our families are coming out. Thank you for giving us freedom. You say by your stripes, oh God, by yourself we express freedom. Thank you for the freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the book of John chapter 8 verse 36. Another prayer point this morning. John chapter 8 verse 30. The Bible says, so if the Son set you free, you will be free indeed. Another verse says, if the Son set you free indeed, you are free indeed. People of God, remember, we were set free when Christ died on that, on that, on that cross. We were set free when Christ gave his life. And one more time, I just want you again to declare freedom. Say, I am free indeed. Remember, people of God, we can be bound in some areas of our lives. But right now, you say, I break every chain. I break every, whatever has been holding me back, whatever has been holding me behind him. I am breaking every chain this morning. I am breaking every cord this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody, wherever you are, break every chain right now as you have been set free in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice, somebody, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Somebody pray, break every chain. Say, I am free this morning. We are free this morning. We are free, Father God. We are breaking every evil chain. Whatever has been holding us behind, whatever has been holding your children in one direction, whatever has been holding us in one direction, Adonai, we are setting ourselves free this morning. We are breaking every chain. We are breaking every chain in the mighty name of Jesus. Every chain, whatever is holding us, um, moving forward, um, experiencing you like never before. We disconnect ourselves. Um, we disconnect our families. Um, we disconnect our ministries. Um, every chain that has been holding us for long. Um, we are free right now. We are set free indeed. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Father, we, pray. we break every chain. Um, whatever has been holding us down. Um, Whatever has been holding us back, we are breaking those chains in the mighty name of Jesus. We are breaking those chains in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Wherever you are this morning, send this link. Share this link with one individual this morning. You do may not know this can be those prayer that they will experience and uh, 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 they will experience the hand of God. We are going to pray this morning. Somebody say, I'm, I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying. Pray. I am praying, I am praying. I want us to come against all evil altars. Remember, people of God, as you are raising altars to worship God, the enemy as well is raising altars to counter attack your worship, the worship you are giving to God. This is why Pharaoh allowed the Israelites to worship God in his own territory. You are going to say, God of major one, this morning I am raising an altar of worship. Where I am, as you are raising this altar of worship, you say, every altar that do not give you glory. I pray for them to be broken this morning in the name of Jesus. Every altar that do not give you praise. I lift my voice. I break every evil altar in my life, in my family, in my business, in whatever is consuming this morning. Somebody raise an altar of worship and break and destroy every evil altar. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Break every evil altar. Break evil altar as you are raising an altar of worship to God this morning. In in the mighty name of Jesus, we lift our voice. This morning, we are breaking every evil altar. Whatever territory the enemy have allowed us to worship God in this vicinity, every altar that has been raised against us, every altar that has been raised against our family, every altar.
altar of worship that we raised against our businesses, every altar of worship that has been raised against our ministry. Right now, we are calling from fire from heaven. <laughs> we are calling fire from heaven to destroy every evil altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Altars are speaking in the morning, altars speaking in the afternoons, after altars speaking in the evenings, altars speaking in the night. Every evil altar speaking against your children this morning. We are destroying every evil altar. We are destroying every evil altar. We are destroying every evil altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Every altar in our life that do not glorify you. Every evil altar in our family that do not glorify you, oh God. Every altar that were raised 100 years ago. Altars that were raised 200 years ago. Altars that were raised 2,000 years ago. Standing against us today, we disconnect ourselves in the mighty name of Jesus. We are breaking them tonight this morning. We are breaking them right now. We are breaking them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus', name in Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. <laughs> People of God, hear this one. Second Corinthians chapter 10, 4 to 5. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Jesus cast, casting down argument and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. People of God, right now, I want us to pull down strongholds. We are going to cast down every argument. Whatever has exalted itself against the knowledge of God, against God in our lives, we are going to pull down every stronghold. Remember, you have been given power and authority to stand against the enemy, to come against his evil power. And I say, God, I am pulling down every stronghold. I am casting down every argument challenging my life whatever has been exalted um, against the knowledge of you in my life um, I pull it down right now somebody lift your voice lift your voice right now pull down strongholds um, cast down every evil argument um, somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray pull down strongholds pull down strongholds um, pull down strongholds um, pull down strongholds um, somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray in the mighty name of this morning, every stronghold, we are pulling them down in the name of Jesus. Whatever is heavy on us, <laughs> thank you, oh God, for freedom. <laughs> every stronghold, whatever has been struggling us for years this morning, we are pulling them down in the mighty name of Jesus. Every carnality, oh God, in our life, whatever thing that may be holding us as a stronghold, we are pulling them down right now in the name of Jesus. Every evil argument in our lives. Father God, whatever is exalted is self higher than us, like you. We are lifting our voices this morning. We come against every voice of the enemy. We come against things that are holding us back. We come against powers holding us behind them. We come against the spirit holding us behind them. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yeah. No longer shall we be bound by any stronghold in the name of Jesus. The book of Psalms 91 verse 13. People of God, remember whenever the enemy allows you to worship God in his own vicinity, <laughs> there are going to be things that are going to pull us down. But we have pulled down every stronghold in the name of Jesse. Psalm 91 verse 13. Psalms 91 verse 13. Thou shalt trend upon the lion, my God, and cobra. <laughs> the young lion and the dragon, serpent. Shall thou tremble under foot, people of God. See the power God has given us. I don't know what is that serpent in your life. I don't know what is that lion situation in your life. I don't know what is that cobra situation in your life. You are going to speak it upon it rather this is a God of major one. This situation have lingered in my life so long. Uh, I lift my voice and I tremble upon this situation. May I see, may I see a divine intervention in this 
situation. You are going to pray for that situation this morning. You are expecting the hand of God in this season. You are expecting the hand of God in this month, in this year. Lift your voice, somebody. Pray for that situation that you want angelic visitation. You want God to intervene mightily. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Pray for that situation. Pray for that problem right now that God is about to take you out to. Fire prayer, somebody. Fire prayer, somebody. I pray louder. Pray louder. Pray louder. Raise your voice. 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 Any situation in our lives that Oga Kama flashes itself as a lion in the name of Jesus. Father God, any situation in our lives Kama flashes itself as a lion in our lives. Any situation right now is looking Oga like a serpent in our lives. You said we shall tremble upon on their foot and we are lifting our voices this morning. The problems your children are going through this morning. Father God, some are going through marital issues. Some, oh God, it may be oh God, health issues. Some, it might be oh God, immigration issues. For some, it may be family issues. For some, this morning, oh God, whatever situation they are going through, we are declaring in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power given to us, we are stepping on every problem right now. We are putting every problem under our feet right now. We are putting every situation under our feet right now, under our control in the mighty name of Jesus. We lift our voice, we lift our voice. Every situation, oh God, as high as the mountain, every situation, oh God, as vast as the valley, we are lifting our voices right now. We come against, we are putting, we are stepping upon them. We are stepping upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. <laughs> <laughs> in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And at the same prayer point in Luke chapter 10, verse 18 to 19. <laughs> Hear this one home. Luke chapter 10, verse 18 to 19. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I, I hope you are hearing me where you are. He said, I saw Satan fall from heaven. But then he said, Behold, I have given you the authority my God, to trend on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And then nothing shall hurt you by any means. My God, people of God, this morning it doesn't matter what you are going through. You have been given power and authority. You just need to go on that altar, kneel down there, cry unto God. And indeed, God shall send angelic help in your way. You are going to pray again. I want us to pray right now for those who are experiencing a marital situation right now I don't know what is happening in your household but there might be someone on this prayer line right now the enemy have attacked that area in your life you are going to say God of major one in this month of April in this year 2024 I declare in the mighty name love in my family I declare unity in my family I declare unity in my household somebody pray 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 Stand in the gap of someone. <laughs> Declare unity in your family. Declare unity among your husband and your wife. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, we pray this morning. <laughs> any family member or no, any family on this side, any man, any woman on this side, the enemy have attacked their vicinity. The enemy have attacked their household. The enemy have attacked their marriages. Them. We are declaring we are standing with all power vested and given upon us. Father, God, we are declaring freedom. <laughs> we are declaring unity in that marriage. We are declaring unity in that marriage. We come against divorces. We come against separations. We come against any plan of the enemy. Whatever the enemy is doing to separate our family members, to break, break our houses. 
Unity, unity shall reign. <laughs> Love shall reign among our oh, your children. God. Love shall reign among your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. People of God. Whenever we come in the presence of God, expect anything to happen. Uh, for those who are online, you may be watching us, I don't know, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. If you are on Zoom and you have a prayer point, I want you to write down, write a prayer point. We can stand in the gap. Uh, 53 people are not going to pray and the God not hear our prayers. My God, if God is not going to hear my prayer, he will hear the prayer of some. Send your prayer point two or four. We are going to pray quickly in the book of in the book of in the book of uh, Exodus chapter 14 Exodus chapter 14 verse uh, 13 to 14 my God I see someone is in heaven I can hear someone who is in heaven ah somebody mute someone who is about to go to heaven Exodus chapter 14 verse 13 to 14 the Bible says do not be afraid <laughs> Somebody will say, I am not afraid. Repeat after me. Say, I am, I am not, not afraid. afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Here stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he has accomplished for you today. Jesus Christ, the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Ah, 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 ah. I hope someone is hearing me wherever you are. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. People of God, we don't care whatever battle you are going through this morning. We don't mind whatever situation the Bible here is reminding us do not be afraid just stand still on your altar people of God, the Bible does not say for you just to stand there doing nothing stand still while you are praying seeking after God cry up to him and he is going to fight your battle for two seconds lift your voice say God of major one fight my battles in this year fight my battles to them fight my battles in this month fight my battles in this kingdom somebody Pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Lift your voice, somebody pray for God to fight your battles. Father, we cry out to you. Fight our battles, fight our battles. Every enemy coming from the east, every enemy coming from the west, every enemy coming from the south, and from the north, we are declaring in the mighty name of Jesus. You said they are going to come in one direction and flee in seven, seven directions. Every enemy coming against us today. We are simply fleeing in seven directions. Every enemy coming against our families, they are fleeing right now in the name of Jesus. Every enemy coming against your children to them, they are fleeing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Father, we pray, Father, we pray, Father, we pray for fight our battles. Fight the battle that woman is going through this morning. Fight the battle that man is going through this morning. Amen. <laughs> We pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Uh, 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 in Jesus' name, we pray. I hear this one again, people of God. I see prayer points coming. We are praying. We are about to pray. One in the book of Psalms 68, verse 1 to 3. Psalms 68, verse 1 to 3. Let God arise. Oh my God. Repeat after me. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. 
people of God if God can arise for you who can arise against you Jesus Christ if God can be for you who can be against you say let God arise let his enemy be scattered them let them also that let him flee before him and the smoke is driven away so drive them away as wax melts before the fire so let the wicked perish in the presence of God but let the righteous be glad them let them rejoice before God yeah let them rejoice exceedingly you are going to say God of measure one arise for me in this season arise for me today arise for me in this month of April arise for me in this year my guest is urgent <laughs> I am in this situation arise for me somebody pray for God to arise for you somebody pray for God to arise for you lift your voice somebody lift your voice somebody oh God of measure one arise for us Arise for that God woman this morning. Arise for that family member. Arise for that whatever they went through. Arise, arise for us. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Arise for us. Arise for us. Rekayanda boyama sekayanda re. Father, we pray. Thank you, O God. God, for standing on our behalf, thank you, Oga, for standing in our cause, thank you, Oga, for standing, oh God, in our situations, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, arise for your children this morning, arise for your people today, arise, 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 may every enemy be scattered, may every enemy flee in the name of Jesus, may every the enemy run away in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name, arise for us. Arise, arise for me, O God. Arise for me, O Jehovah. Arise for me, Adonai. Arise for me, God of Metawan. Arise for us, God of Isaac. Arise for us, arise for us. Arise for us. Oh, arise, arise, arise for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to pray right now. We are going to pray for any project. Remember, people of God, if your project finds itself in the vicinity of the enemy, in the territory of the enemy, <laughs> you are going to experience stumbling blocks. You are going to experience delays. But right now, there is someone who said, Please. Pray for my contract and the speed sale of my property. We are going to pray for any project we are doing in this season. We are going to pray for our finances. We are going to pray for the works of our say God of major one. May we experience a speed in whatever we do. May we experience a divine intervention in whatever our hands touch. Somebody lift your voice. Pray for your project. Pray for the works of your hands. Pray for God to open doors. Pray for God to to have an increase, pray for a multiplication. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, pray for an increase, 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 pray for an increase. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I declare, thank you for speed that this woman is going to experience. Him. Thank you, oh God, for whatever project our hands are going to endeavor into it will them. Any project our we are going to endeavor into in this month any project we are going to endeavor into this year, in the mighty name of jesus we come against every stronghold whatever has been holding our promotion for so long whatever has been holding for things to be released in this season we are praying in the mighty name of jesus we are praying we are praying thank you for a speed that you are giving us in this season thank you Oga, for speed of sell of this woman in the name of Jesus. Thank you for buyers coming from the east, in the west, in the south, in the north. Thank you for the phone calls she shall receive in this season. Thank you for the phone calls she shall receive in this week. Thank you for God for proposals she is going to receive in this month. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Jesus' man, we pray. Amen. Ah, we are going to pray for John right now. As we are praying for John, I want us to pray as well for our children. We are going to come against every plan of the enemy. We are going to come against attacks. We are going to come against sickness. We are going to come against every evil manipulation. As you are praying for John, say, God of Meta One, we are standing in the gap of our children this morning. Somebody lift your voice, pray for guests to John, and pray for your children, for God's divine intervention in their life. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. We are lifting our voices this morning. We are praying for Catholic children. We are praying for our families. We are praying for our children, our young ones. We are recommending them in your hands. Um, divine protection today, divine protection this week. Um, divine protection this week. Um, we come against every evil attack. Um, we come against every evil plan of the enemy. They are divinely covered. They are divinely shielded. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, we pray a hedge of protection. We come against the spirit of confusion. Um, we come against the drugs um, we come against uh, uh, finding themselves um, with the wrong place at the wrong time in the mighty name of Jesus um, Father we pray restoration restoration of marriage and ministry restoration of marriage and ministry restore our marriages restore our ministry restore our households in this season restore a woman on this prayer line restore a man on this prayer line restore us oh God restore us oh God Restore us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare restoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Oh my God, people of God, I know when we don't have to pray for 50 hours for God to hear our prayers. As you join us this morning, I can assure you things are happening spiritually that you may not know yet are happening. I want us to pray this morning morning we are going to pray for the prophet we are going to pray for the prophetess we are going to cover them with the blood of the lamb we are going to come against every blood of the enemy and we are going to come against every attack of the enemy somebody lift your voice and pray declare something over their lives come against every plan of the enemy come against every attack of the enemy over their lives somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray pray for the prophet cover him pray for the prophetess cover her pray for our leaders cover them this morning Morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lift our voice to them. We pray for the prophet, for the prophetess. We cover them in your blood. We come against every plan of the enemy. We are shielding them this morning. We are shielding them today. We are shielding them this season. We come against every evil plan of the enemy. Whatever territory the enemy wanted them to stay in. Father God, thank you as they are coming out in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, thank you for strengthening, for strengthening them in this season for strengthening them in this year, for strengthening them today, for strengthening them in this month, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us as well, we are going to pray for all the men, the women of God in the Jesus Nation USA, globally, people of God, the enemy is going to fight the men of God and women of God this year. We are going to pray for God to strengthen them. Starting from the Apostle Pastor Brian, we are going to say, God, every man and woman of God, we pray for a divine covering, a divine protection. Somebody pray for each and every man of God. Pray, pray for two seconds. Pray for two seconds. Lift your voice. Pray for a divine protection. We pray for every man of God, every man of God today. Thank you, O God, for a divine protection. I don't know men and women who are sacrificing their time. Men and women who are sacrificing their own um, to serve your people. We are praying. Thank you for wisdom, divine protection in this month, um, divine protection in this week, um, divine protection to them. Thank you for what you are going to do in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, in Jesus' mighty name we pray.
In Jesus' name we pray. Last prayer this morning. I want us to pray for everyone who is sick. If you are sick today, you are going to declare divine healing over your life. If any family member of yours is sick today, say, God of Major One, release an angel of healing to them. We are going to pray for those who are in the hospital for God to release them out today. They are coming out from that hospital in the name of lift your voice, somebody. Pray, pray, declare healing. Two second prayer, two second prayer. Declare healing, declare healing. Healing, declare healing in the mighty name of Jesus. We lift our voice. Declare healing any man, any woman on this prayer line who might have been attacked by demonic sickness. We are declaring healing in the name of Jesus. They are free in the name of Jesus. They are delivered in the name of Jesus. They are coming out of that situation this morning. Those who are in the hospital this morning, we are declaring they shall be released in this season. They shall be released in this weekend. They shall be released in this month. They shall be released in this year. In the mighty name. Thank you for your angels. Thank you for the angels of healing. Thank you for the angels of healing. God are touching your people this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. People of God, remember, remember. You need to raise an altar as well. That can counter attack every evil altar. As you pray it today believe in faith um, that you prayed for in this shall come to pass. Um, I'm going to pray as we close. Father God, we say thank you. We give you all the glory for every man, every woman um, who joined us uh, this morning. Thank you, Oga, for a divine intervention. Thank you, Oga, for transforming their lives. Um, they are yes, coming Lord. out of that situation. Yes, they are coming out yes, in every Lord. evil territory. They are coming out from the end of the enemy. We are declaring favor shall we be to them. As we go out, shall we be blessed. Um, as we come out, shall we be bless him. We pray for a hedge of protection around us, our families, and whatever is concerning us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen, amen and amen.